hello friends welcome to voice learning today we have one more great story i hope you like these stories and you have learned something from these stories as well so let's start with this story a strange race there are there were two friends a hare and a toto toys the hare was known for his swiftness and speed and the toto toys was known for his sluggishness he was extremely slow one day during a friendly chat the hare began making fun of his markedly slow speed the toto toys was slightly annoyed but said with a smile i may be slow but i can beat you in race the hare was simply astonished to hear this are you kidding said the hare in bewilderment i hope you are not serious i am very serious i am sure i can outrun you said the toto toys seeing the toto toys so serious the hare said all right in that case we shall appoint a referee and fix a venue for the event they agreed upon it and parted next day a rat was appointed as referee a large field by the side of a river was fixed as venue and a big banyan tree about a mile away from that from the raid's hole was decided to be the winning post the rat made the toto toys and the hare to settle on their marks on the starting point on your marks set go and the race began off went the hare with a lightning speed the toto toys began at a very slow speed It was very funny to watch the race. Poor Toto Toys thought the rat, the hare will cover the distance to the winning post ten times before the Toto Toys could reach it. Even once, no match. The hare must reach about half a mile when he stopped to see where the Toto Toys was. He looked back. The Toto Toys was not too big. See, oh poor fellow, you are far behind. Meanwhile, I shall eat some green grass and take rest for a while. And when the Toto Toys becomes visible, I shall start up again," said the hare to himself. The hare ate soft green grass. drank some water and lay down under a small tree to take a rest he had no intentions to sleep but the cool air along the river side put him to deep sleep on the other side the toto toys though very slow kept moving in a steady speed the hare slept for quite some time when he woke up he looked around and the toto toys was not to be seen anywhere since he had had a good nap he got up and began running again but he was dumbstruck when he reached the winning post the toto toys had already reached there the hare had lost the race he accepted his defeat spottingly after that the hare never made a fun of the toto toys for his slow speed so guys moral of the story is slow and steady wins the race so i hope you have learned something from these stories and you like these stories please do subscribe likes and comments on my channel for upcoming great stories and learnings take care bye